Hey everyone, Ed here with another Holy Week devotion on Good Friday. Hey, I'm sure you've heard the phrase, blood, sweat, and tears. Usually, this refers to a person who's giving everything they have to accomplish something. It kind of makes me think that perhaps the phrase could have come from a moment in Jesus' life when he was in his darkest hour and he was desperately needing to complete the work that he had been given by going to the cross. In Luke 22, we see that Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane and he takes some of his disciples with him to pray. Now, he reminds them that they're to go and pray so that they won't fall into temptation. Then we hear Jesus pray to his Father, not my will, but your will be done. It's right here in verse 44 where we begin to see the blood, sweat, and tears. It says, and being in agony, he was praying very fervently and his sweat became like drops of blood falling down upon the ground. Now Jesus knew what he had to do and he knew it was for our ultimate good, but in his humanness, this moment is so unimaginably stressful that he is sweating blood and producing tears. Now all of the things that Jesus could have done, can you imagine, the thing he chose to do to face his death was to choose to pray. Jesus is teaching us something here. When we face our darkest days, prayer protects us from temptation, prayer submits to the desires of our Father, and prayer encourages us to keep moving forward in faith. That's one of the many reasons we call this Good Friday, that Jesus' blood, sweat, and tears gave witness to the enormity of the task of dying for our sins, but also it spoke to the enormity of our worth that He would go to the cross in our place willingly. This week as you pray, give thanks for the work of Jesus that has set you free. And as you pray, consider how prayer protects you, helps you to submit, and produces faith to carry on.